For the second time in as many days, Seattle loses an iconic piece of its history, the ongoing deterioration of the city cited as the reason why. Yesterday, we told you that Bartels was selling off its Seattle drugstores after 130 years, and today, where the iconic elephant car wash near Belltown is being demolished. The owners of the car wash told King 5, increasing crime, drug activity, and homelessness in and around the car wash has made it extremely difficult to retain staff and to attract customers to our business. When coupled with the ever-increasing cost of doing business in Seattle and the city's ever-increasing burdensome regulatory demands, we have determined that it is impossible for a small minimum wage business such as ours to successfully operate within Seattle. So the big question tonight, what will become of that iconic pink elephant sign that has stood in Seattle for more than half a century? King 5's Eric Wilkinson with the past and future of that big pink elephant. There is much more to the history of the elephant car wash sign, a history you can trace to icons all over our area. For 64 years, it has spun happily over the elephant car wash, the sign a landmark seen around the world. It's been in movies, TV shows, books, magazines. Um, so it's up there with the Space Needle. The pink elephant sign was designed by Seattle's Beatrice Haverfield in 1956. Four baby elephants at the bottom representing her four children. And Beatrice gave birth to an imagery that's become part of Seattle's history. She designed the neon ivor sign on the waterfront. That's her actual handwriting. The original Cinerama sign, the now demolished Chubby and Tubby, as well as Dick's Burgers. All this as a woman in the 1950s. Historian Brad Holden. Because she was, uh, you know, kind of a unicorn in the sense that there weren't a lot of women doing what she did. And not only was she one of the only women making these signs in that era, but her signs have become so iconic and so such a big part of our metropolitan identity. In her basement, she had an easel set up with a lot of paints. And, um, you know, as a kid, I started kind of getting curious about that. And she was always like, oh, yeah, go ahead, you know, try painting something. Eli Wolf is Beatrice's grandson and now an artist himself. He painted his own elephant car wash sign after she passed away. So what's it like for you to drive through Seattle and see your grandmother's work everywhere? I, it's just a sense of pride. I really, really enjoy it. Um, I mean, for, for the longest time growing up, the pink elephant car wash was grandma's elephant. You know, I, I thought of it more as, you know, one of her art, you know, art pieces. That With so many icons now disappearing, Holden hopes Seattle will develop the memory of an elephant and never forget this beloved car wash. These are the signs that define kind of who we are. These are the visual cues of, you know, what represents Seattle. So to see these fallen by the wayside, it's sad, and I think it's eroding our, our identity. The good news tonight, the pink elephant sign is not washed up. It'll soon be headed to Seattle's Museum of History and Industry, and hopefully we won't see any more iconic signs joining it there anytime soon. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.